Hello, people of hyperspace! My name is Devontos, and it's time to get hyped! Because this is some epic Call of Duty Black Ops 3 gameplay. Not really epic, because I'm kind of like camping in here, but that's because I'm using Nomad. I want to talk about Nomad. Nomad is the ideal camping specialist, to the point where other specialists call him a camper, like Outrider. He has this special ability, more like a special weapon. It's this hive gun? It's basically a grenade launcher that instead of shooting grenades that explodes, it shoots sticky semtex that detonate when an enemy gets near. It basically shoots trip mines. But these trip mines don't explode into fire and devastation, they explode into little bugs. And these little bugs will chase down anybody who gets too close to them and eat them alive. But anyway, you see. If you're playing objective game modes with Nomad, and you have these pods available, you can actually plant them at the objective. Like if you're playing Domination, just bombard them flags with them pods. If you're playing Demolition, just booby trap the bombs and you're gonna get yourself a lot of kills. And the cool thing is about these little nanobots, these bugs, they're actually nanobots. He's not really planting real bugs that go out and eat people. And this is related to the mummy, but that's a completely different story. These, these little nanobots, they will, if, if they, let's say they take, uh, player one and player one is close to player two, they would actually go over to player two and eat him up. Or her, or whoever it is. Maybe it's a reaper, maybe it's an it. But they will just continue jumping from player to player if the other players are, you know, all huddled up together. So one pod can actually get you, like, a double kill, maybe even a multi-kill, if these enemies are all bundled up together. So if you guys saw my other video about camping, and you guys feel like camping yourselves, you can select yourself a nomad, get yourself that big OP weapon that every camper wants to use, just booby trap the entire building you're staying in, or wherever you're staying, just place those pods like I'm doing here, place yourself a trip mine, some shock chargers, or whatever you're using, just booby trap the entire area. Make sure you sit in the corner, but before you get there, make sure you get your beanbag chairs, get your Doritos, get your Cheetos, and get your Kool-Aid, because you're going to be sitting there for a while, while all your booby traps get all the work. And it's a really good tactic to rank up kills. And if you're a newbie or a new guy, Nomad you actually unlock pretty early. I think you unlock them at a level 28, and that's really early. So new guys, I would highly suggest if you want to use that camping technique I mentioned in my previous video, take Nomad and give it a shot. Nomad has another ability called Rejack, and it was really nerfed and buffed, and a lot of stuff was happening with Rejack. If you played it in the beta, Reject is basically, it's basically second chance, but it's not like you fall down with a pistol and you gotta wait for somebody to revive you. You basically fall down this crowd of green smoke. I, I make it, uh, to me it kind of sounds like he farts when you kill him and all that's the green smoke that he tries to use for cover. So you're in this guy's flatulence and he basically injects himself with some kind of serum. I don't know, maybe it's like spinach and he gets all this strength. So... Once he injects himself with that spinach, you know, the, the gas disappears and you got yourself a second chance. But it's a little different. In the beta, everybody was using it to, you know, score up those high score streaks because when you got killed, or not really killed, taken down, and then your guy farts, it didn't count as a death and your kill streaks wouldn't reset. Now in the full game, what would actually happen is if you're taken out, it would count as a death, and your skill streaks reset, and it acts more like a tactical insertion. But you have to be very careful when you're using this reject, because there are times, and I, I do this if I see other people using Nomad, once I see that flatulence come out, I actually just stay there staring at the, the you know, the guy trying to inject himself with the spinach. I stare at him, and the instant I see some movement that's letting you know that he's gonna get up, and you just start spraying him with bullets, and you're gonna take him out a second time before he even has time to react. So reject now is kinda iffy, like, you can do it, but it's, it's very risky, especially if the person takes you out, like, head on. Now, if you get sniped off, you can easily do reject and maybe... Like, a 50-50 chance you can escape the sniper unless he's really, really good. But, if- or if you're taken out at a distance with any weapon, you're most probably gonna survive and, you know, escape to survive another day and tell the story on how you injected your arms with spinach and you got all those super strength and you went back and got a revenge kill on the sucker. But if, you, they're, if they're up close, I would highly suggest you just don't do it, unless you actually see that they run off after the kill. And then you can, you know, inject yourself with that super spinach and you're gonna be back to Popeye and back to full health again. His personality does not half bad either. He kind of reminds me of Reznov, and he kind of looks like Reznov too. He actually has this outfit where he has a scouter, and if a scouter like Dragon Ball Z sound like that. 
And he looks very similar to Reznov, and he kind of sounds like a scratchier, harsher, more kind of Reznov character. But I actually really like this guy's personality. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. There's not really much to talk about. Um, what's his name? I'm gonna say Spectre. Not much to talk about Nomad, because he's more just like a camping specialist, and there's not really much to do with him but sit there and get a second chance at life. So that's all I have for you guys. Thank you for watching. I'll leave you guys with the rest of the gameplay. If you liked it. Punch that like button with a mighty force. I would suggest watching my last YouTube video, Outriders Epic Captain. I tried something different and I really liked it. A lot of people also liked it too. So anyway, if you liked it, punch that like button with a mighty force. Subscribe for more Call of Duty Black Ops 3 content or any content I happen to be playing. And as always, I'll see all of you in my next video. Have a nice day! Targeting active. Hostile lightning strike inbound. Record. RTD. Crush the opposition.